morning students once again i welcome you to my video class and uh, today i will continue with uh, what is known as impulse response of first order system so this is going to be the last test signal impulse response how a first order system responds to an impulse input so what is impulse input so impulse input act instantaneously and this is what is known as an impulse function and it is a huge value and it acts and impulse function is interpreted as what is known as unit impulse unit impulse means it reaches a value of 1 so delta t so delta t is what is called as impulse function and in nature we come across thunder stroke so thunder stroke acts at a particular instant of time it is not going to be continuous and it acts it is a very huge value and that is what is called as impulse function so this impulse function is a student friendly function because its laplace transform is unity so what is r of t r of t is equal to delta of t then laplace transform of impulse function unit impulse is one is one so with this in mind now you can find the response now the response becomes c of s by one equal to one over tau s plus one therefore c of t equals l inverse of one over so take out tau outside because we know general form of expression for inverse laplace transform therefore tau into s plus 1 by tau now its inverse laplace transform is 1 by tau e to the power of minus t by tau this is what is known as impulse response so it is an exponential function exponential decaying function because its value decreases now it, it, it is sketched in this way this is 1 by 2 this is c of t this is so for t less than 0 it was 0 now when, in, when an impulse is applied now it goes to a value 1 by 2 then it starts falling so this is what is called as impulse response impulse response so this is the last test signal impulse response thank you